Hey guys, Starwatch Media here at Hamptons Film Fest 2013 with Ryan McGarry, the award-winning director of the documentary Code Black. So Ryan, you guys have been doing the festival circuit for a while now. How does it feel to be at the Hamptons? Uh, we're pretty excited. It's kind of like now it's like a, a home uh, arena for me. I just moved to New York City. I'm a part you know, physician there at Cornell. Uh, so uh, it's nice to be on a uh, home turf again. We st I feel like we started at Los Angeles and now we're in New York. So kind of both places I've called home. So we have like half of the uh, ER doctors in, in New York I think are coming to the screening. It's going to be pretty cool. Right. Yeah. But you, it all started back when you were a resident at LA County. So for those people who haven't seen the film, tell me about Code Black. Um, more than anything, I mean, right now the government's shut down with health care, so I think in some ways, uh, you know, our crystal ball couldn't have foreseen that, but this is a film that sort of addresses this issue head on, but it comes from the doctor's point of view. You've heard from politicians, you've heard from insurance companies, you've heard from patients, but you haven't really heard from the physicians, and you especially haven't heard from young physicians who are going to inherit all this in the first place, right? So Code Black's kind of a film that says, all right, what if you followed young doctors training in the system, and you followed their idealism, and you saw what happens when they're faced with the cold realities of our system, and how do you keep those ideals intact? And so it follows... Um, some of my colleagues and myself through our journey through training in an emergency room at a tough LA County hospital. And uh, we got to deal with uh, kind of growing up in the American healthcare system, mm -hmm. but as doctors, you know. Which is even more difficult. So you made this movie, it's kind of remarkable. You cold called a producer and said, hey, I'm a resident of LA County. I think that there's a movie here. Tell me about the process of getting this made and the lack of sleep that you endured to make the movie. What? Sleep deprivation? Could you repeat that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that any film is a small series of small miracles as far as I'm concerned. I mean, to get something on the screen is incredible. I think in our case, you know, we had to overcome not only being a first time filmmaker in my, se in, in my sense, but, um, you know, big entities like the County of Los Angeles and big institutions that normally wouldn't allow this to happen. So I think that there's been many scores and all of this, um, particularly getting uh, my team together was probably the, the most important to me. Um, you mentioned our executive producer, Mark Harris, um, Linda Goldstein-Knowlton, um, Marty Knoxon, and my editor, Josh Altman, um, really an incredible team of veterans that I surrounded myself with who all took a chance on me and the project. And, uh, you know, that at each one of those points, you know, could have been an end point probably for the film where if one of these experts could have said, you know what, no, this isn't going to go anywhere, well, then it would have been very hard to convince the hospital and my ER department family that this was going to be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the film is really illustrating the disconnect between the patients that you treat every day and what you see in the ER and the system. So tell me about some of the stories that really brought that to light for you. You know, I think that um, people associate public health and county hospitals with one subset of population and I think in the film does a good job of showing that first of all that's not remotely true. That people who use the county hospital often have insurance for the fir in the first place. They just need access and they can't afford to miss work to go to the one doctor their insurance lets them go to. I think the other, um, there's a character in the film that I remember that uh, was a lawyer. Um, she was an attorney who had had her business collapse and she had broken her ankle, right? And so um, she was basically sitting there saying, you know, uh, I don't have insurance. I'm broke for the first time in my life. I'm 50 years old and I don't know what I'm doing next. And you kind of go, wow, you know, if there's any statement of, you know, why we can do better in this country for these people. I think it was that. Mm -hmm. So now that you're not a resident and you're at the ER up at Cornell, um, how has your views of the system changed? Has it evolved at all since you made the movie while you were still at LA County? You know, I mean, every ER does the same thing ultimately. And really the, the problem isn't necessarily at the ER. And so even though I've switched from a county hospital to now an academic private hospital, which is Wild Cornell, you know, the ER is still the front door for the safety net. We still don't turn anyone away. We still treat everyone regardless of their ability to pay. That's a constant. The problem is where do they go next? And I think that's the question about um, Obamacare, of course, which I think generally all of us feel is a step at least somewhat in the right direction. But it's, you know, if everyone gets an, a card, which is what most people will get with uh, Obamacare, um, will they still be seen as profitable enough? And that's the concern is that even at, at the hospital I work at now, we have to refer many people out who either have poor or mediocre insurance or no insurance at all and it's like where are they going to get their next specialty care step whether it be surgery or an expensive medication where are they going to get it mm -hmm. so for you in what ways i mean it is kind of insane that this movie is premiering amidst this whole healthcare crisis so for you in what ways can it be improved or what would be your advice to someone um, who's trying to deal with what decisions to make regarding their health care i mean i think any 
legislation that's going to broaden coverage is a good thing. Um, I think that um, most of us, even experts, still don't understand this complex piece of legislation and there's going to be some time to understand it. I think though from a philosophical point of view, and I think as my, my my role as an artist and physician is to say to Americans, hey, you know, let's try and first of all depolit like depoliticize this as much as possible. I mean, this is ultimately not really an issue of politics. It's an issue of taking care of each other and like what kind of society do we want to be? And I think when you combine healthcare and profit, any human being is going to have a hard time with that combination of things. Making decisions within that algorithm of profit or healthcare, really they should be separate at some point. Right. So what's up next for you? Last we talked at LA Film Fest, you were developing this into a scripted TV series, kind of a Grey's Anatomy with a little bit more grit. Uh, yeah, so we're, uh, uh, Marty Knox, our executive producer, um, has optioned the film, um, and uh, her and her experienced team of writers, along with uh, my producer Linda and our editor Josh Altman, have sort of teamed together to kind of uh, present something that would be similar, like similar to the wire uh, of uh, medical dramas. And uh, we're very excited about that. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Good to see you.